Let's talk Kratos. I think a go-to character for a lot of people playing PlayStation All-Stars for the first time. Kratos uh, from the God of War series has a, a very strong uh, offensive style in his game. He's really good at dealing with crowds in front and behind to the sides. He's got those wide arcs. Now we have a 2D perspective, so the way that we sort of created, recreated the sensation of his sort of can deal with all things all range. We gave him sort of a greater than average sort of range that he's able to affect with his chain. So we don't consider Kratos a short range character. He's more probably accurately described as a mid range character because those blades of chaos can travel so far further than the average guy who's just dealing with punches and kicks. Kratos, I think one of the things I noticed is he's really good at getting in. He's really good at harassing people. Yeah, once Kratos gets to that mid range, he, he does have a really wide arsenal and, and the combat grapple is, it has some interesting properties to it because not only can it be used to getting close to an opponent, but it can also be used to sort of change places and, and, and bring, get to where your opponent just was and send your opponent flying. Luckily for him, he's got some great aerial attacks and one of my favorite is a barbarian hammer. On the ground, has a long wind up. It does pretty good damage uh, when it does finally land. Another thing, he's got a counter. That's yeah. not something you see in, in, in that much in PlayStation All-Stars. He's, he's unique in that respect. He can do it in midair or on the ground. So the Fleece is a little more uh, predictive oriented in, in PlayStation All-Stars. It's something that you use in anticipation of an oncoming attack when you're really, really sure that that attack is going to come. Pretty mobile character, too. He's got these Icarus swings. Not only can you use that to push characters up in the air, juggle them, you can use it in midair. As we know, all the characters on the double jump, he's essentially got a triple jump. Let's talk about Kratos' supers, because he's got some really unique ways to score points. It does have a, a bit of wind-up on it, so it's not something that you want to fire out necessarily when you're in the combat ball, but if you're just outside of the combat ball and you can get those guys distracted, it's a really good move to capitalize. His level 2 super is much more vertically oriented. One of the one of the few I've seen in PlayStation All-Stars that has this vertical area of effect. By surprise, when you're you know three platforms underneath them, you fire off this level 2 and you catch them all the way at the top. It's a great super in that situation. But that level 3, for me, that is worth investing in. Really hard to get away. You can maybe get away on the first attack. You're not going to get away from that second attack. And the, and the sort of limit on how many kills Kratos can get is really based on how good that Kratos is with leveraging that power. It's all about evening the odds and getting those points with supers. So with Kratos, when it comes down to Kratos, what kind of character, what kind of fighting game fan do you think is a good fit for Kratos? Players are going to gravitate towards Kratos, are going to be the ones who, who like a medium range game who like a character who has a wide level of functionality, has really cool combos, if you like if you like stringing together combos and looking like you're creating these beautiful sequence of attacks, I think Kratos is going to be the character for you.